and yeah. I let the door open so you can get him okay um, it seems for me that um, some of you have a problem with the prepositional brace tell me that I'm right hmm. am I right Who yes, the uh, prepositional phrase. The uh, last uh, thing yesterday, Wednesday, some people told me that they uh, didn't understand how to uh, differentiate between the adjective and the adverb. No, it was easy. It was, it was easy. easy. Okay, let's uh, revise it and then I have some exercises we can answer. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, first let me remind you with the prepositional phrase. It's, as we said, part of a sentence and it consists of preposition and the object uh, of this position. The, the object should be a no could be a noun or a pronoun. Uh, also, the object, the object of the prepositional phrase can be also a gerund or a clause. This is something new. We said before it's a noun or pronoun, or it could be also the gerund or clause. When we will read extra uh, examples, we are going to discover those types. Let's read this one. Uh, she caught the bus on time. She caught the bus on time. Uh, let me ask Ahmed, the one who said it's easy. We'll start with you. Uh, she caught the bus on time. Where the prepositional phrase? Yes. What a miss. Where the wake up, wake up. I need you to wake up. Okay. Okay, where the prepositional okay. phrase? Mm. On time. On time. Thank you. Okay, the uh, let, this is the first thing. What the, yes. what thing does on time describe? Uh, uh, quoting the bus. Yeah, quote, you mean, right? Yes. So, yes. it describes a verb, which is quote. This means that, uh, what type of adjective or phrase is that? Adjective or uh, adverb? Ad adverb, yes. Adverb, that's right. Thank you. No need to say MS every time. It's enough for me to answer. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. The second one. Uh... Mark is going out with the beautiful, the beautiful woman. Uh, let me pick up um, Yasin. Yes, where is the prepositional phrase here? In second sentence? Yes, in second one. Uh, out. Again? Out. Mark is going out. Going out, this is a, 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 a verb phrase, going out. Remember, Yasin, it starts with a preposition and ends with a noun or pronoun or gerund. Gerund, a verb with ing. Not sure, sure. Ranim. Out with the beautiful? Yeah, that's right. Out with, not out, not out with that beautiful woman with that beautiful going out out here it's a part of the verb going going out like okay. a speak up yes we call this a phrase a verb a verb that contains two words not only one verb one word so with that beautiful woman this is the prepositional phrase here uh, uh, we have the preposition it what it start with preposition one and it end with the woman it end with the woman and we have here as you can see between the noun and the preposition, we have the, an adjective describing woman. So that's what we call all of it the prepositional phrase. Um, the question, what does it describe? What does it modify in this sentence? Uh, let, me, let me pick up someone. Yes, I'll make it easy for you. Mahmoud Hassam, are you here? Yes. Yes, Mahmoud. Uh, welcome. Where are you? We missed you a lot. I was sick. Okay, I wish that you are better now. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Okay. Uh, we are asked about with that beautiful woman, what does it modify in this sentence? Mm. 
going out. But yeah, that's right. It modify going out. It describes going out with whom? With that with that beautiful woman. Uh, so this means it's an adjective or adverb. Adverb. Yeah, that's right. It's an adverb. Thank you. The third example. Um, let me ask. Who is Bana? What what is this name? Who is this? Who is Bana? Okay, time. To tell you all, this will be the rule starting from today. If you will not enter with your name, I will let you leave the, the meeting. You will not join again. So please, anyone is giving a nickname, please change it right now and put your real name, please. Okay. Um, okay, let me go to Habib Asam. Habib Asam, are you there? Uh, okay, Habiba, the last example, number three, before going home, go to the bank. Uh, the prepositional phrases go to the bank. How? How can a prepositional phrase start with a verb? Before going home? Before, that's right. It starts with a preposition, which is before, and the end with home, which is a noun. Before going home. Here are the... Uh, uh, before is followed by going, and going here is a gerund. Going here is a gerund. Okay, before going home, uh, what does it describe? Uh, go, uh, go to the bank. Go, that's right. It describes the verb go. So uh, if you can put it in the normal uh, order, it would be go to the bank. Okay. Uh, 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 go to the bank before you go to home. Uh, so, before going home, this preposition phrase is an adjective or adverb? Um, I don't know. Uh, it describes a verb, so... Hmm? Describe a verb, so it's... Um, Mohammed? It's an adverb? It's an adverb, that's right, it's an adverb. Okay, thank you. Right. What types of uh, preposition phrases? The type of preposition phrase. Uh, in the class, we said that we have two types. Today, we are going to add another type to the, to the three. Anyway, we have different types of preposition phrases. The first type, it mod when it modifies a noun. And in that case, it will act like when I find something demodifying a noun, so it will be, I describe it by its what? An adjective. So this means that it's an adjective phrase. This is the first type. An adjective, uh, adjective phrase, it describes a noun or modify a noun in a sentence. The second type, well, let us have some examples. Examples of adjective uh, phrases. That puppy at the park is so happy. That puppy at the park is so happy. Where did the, the, the uh, preposition phrase? We are looking for a preposition followed by or end, start with a preposition, end with a noun. At the park, this one. Okay, that's the first question. Okay, at the park, whom am I speaking about? The puppy. So this means that at the park, describe the puppy. It describes a noun, so it's an adjective phrase. The second one. I like to go grocery. I like to go grocery shopping at the whole food behind my house. Uh, Muhammad Etribi, if you're there, can you answer? Um, okay, uh, who is there? Omar Negi, are you there? Omar Negi? Right. Um, who's left here? Uh, Zainab, are you there? Zainab, are you there? Right. Yasin, are you there? Yes. Can you now just detect for me where is the preposition phrase here? At the whole at, 
something at them and ending behind. Shopping at the Whole Food. Okay, this is one. Fine, but it the, here it doesn't act like an adjective. But this is correct. At the Whole Food, this is the this is uh, one of the adverbial the uh, prepositional phrase. It start with at and end with a noun. Uh, here at the Whole. Against. And you can also say behind my house. Yes, this is what I meant. Behind my house. Behind my house. This is a prepositional phrase too. To start with a preposition, end with, end with the house. Um, uh, this acts like an adjective. Why? What does it modify? What does it describe? Hmm. Uh, which its name is the whole food this is the name of the grocery shopping as you can see it's written in, in capital this is the name of the grocery shopping itself so it modify the this this place or this uh, this store which is named the whole foods the whole food Yasin. this is the name of the shop itself got it so behind my house is describing this a noun or modifying a noun. That's why it's a, it works like an adjective. That was the first type when the prepositional phrase modify or describe a noun. The second type when it modifies a verb, and in that case it will act like, of course, an adverb. We call it adverbial phrases. We call it adverbial phrases. Let's check some examples. Example of adverbial phrase. Um, okay, let's go up again. Ahmed? Ahmed Shawi? Yes. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, read the first one and tell me where the prepositional phrase first. Jane cheated for her team with uh, excitement. 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 Yeah, Jane cheered for her team with excitement. Where yeah. the prepositional phrase? Uh, for her team? Uh, no. Okay. Then what, miss? With excitement. Okay. Oh, okay. Tell me. With excitement. This is, uh, yes. And uh, what does it describe here? Uh, she them. Yes, excellent. She described for us uh, or gave us more information about the way she wa she sheared. How was she? Uh, uh, yes. How was she so happy? She with excitement. With excitement, it was to the maximum, as if as if you are saying. Here, the another example. And who's Ali Halima? Who's Ali? Ali 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 that we Ali in nine B. Yeah, Chris. I'm Zina Tamir. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, Zina. Really, you have to change your name. Right. Okay. Uh, Zina, read the second one, please. Mark you behind his brother. Yes. Um, his brother behind his brother is yes, the uh, adverbial. Excellent. This is the phrase. adverbial phrase, and and it works like an uh, adverb. What does uh, it describe? Looking, yes. What looked. Yes. Excellent. So she she described uh, the verb which is look. Uh, uh, where did he look? He looked behind his brother. So now we have two types. When it modify a noun, we call it adjective phrase. When modify a verb, we call it adverbial phrase. The third time, this is something new, it can act like a noun. It can act like a noun. Look at those examples. During the commercial, during, what is this? Okay, sorry. Uh, during the commercial, the, uh, is the best time to go. So here, I'm dealing with this. It start with uh, during the uh, uh, preposition and end with a noun which is commercial and then I follow by the ver status verb this means that this is here this part act like a noun although it's what it's uh, a prepositional phrase so I deal with the whole this whole whole part as it is a noun the noun of the sentence during the commercial it's the best time to go to the, the bathroom when you are watching it, any uh, program or or series or something, and then uh, sometimes they they cut it with kind of 
commercial. So this is the best way, the best time to go to the, the bathroom. So during the commercial, we act like a noun. Uh, here we have some more examples for the um, prepositional phrase that act like an adjective. Uh, we can discuss them together quickly. The girl in the middle is the best dancer. In the middle. It describes whom? The girl. The second one. The grocery store across town has a great produce, uh, produce selection. Across town. I start with the preposition and end with the noun. And it describes what? The, the store. The grocery store. So it's again an adjective phrase the park near the lake has an off-leash dog area near the lake describe what the park the noun so it's an adjective phrase the restaurant behind my house the restaurant behind my house is describing that uh, is uh, is loud so it's describing the the house Sorry. Behind my house, sorry, describe the restaurant, so describing a noun, so it's an adjective. The last one, the neighbors to my right have a lot of uh, uh, parties. To my right, describe whom, the neighbors. So it's again, it's an adjective because all of them are describing oh. nouns. Examples for uh, phrases that act like an adverb. She went to the store. To the store. Describe what? The verb, which is went. Where did she go? Answer the question where? To a place. Speak about the place. So it's an adverb. My dad took his coat to the lake. Again, to the lake where? So describe where did he take uh, his boat? My sister clapped for her team. For her team, preposition phrase, and it modify the verb which is clap, so it's an adverb. My brother ran to his girlfriend's house. To his girlfriend's house, describe what, where again, ran, which is the verb. Last group of examples when the phrase acts as a noun. Behind the school is a park. Preposition phrase, but I'm dealing with it as a noun. That's why I follow it with the, the uh, a verb of a status, which is verb to be is. After the movie, again, this is the preposition phrase, but I'm dealing with it as a noun. It's the perfect time to get dinner. During the fight, it's a good time to catch up on uh, on work. Any question about the, the types of the, uh, the prepositional phrase and how to identify them in a sentence? Yes. No, Who said yes? Um, Omir. Yes, yes. Omir. I think as a note, uh, after the behind the school, it must be is. Yes. Or can it be or are or was where? Behind the school is a board. Board. No, uh, if if it is, for example, was was a, a park. Ah uh, yes, of course, but it's singular. I mean, it will not differ. The tense will not okay. differ. Yes, but the form okay. is it singular or plural? Singular. Yes, that's right. So is or okay. was and will not differ. Will not differ. Is Lily here? Okay, thanks. Lily is here. Lily not here. Okay. Uh, okay, those are some common words. Uh, I will just show to you quickly, and then when you rewatch re this video, you can uh, study them. Those are the common words that any prepositional phrase can start with. Okay, you have two tables here in front of you this one and this one. Uh, this may make it easy for you to identify the, uh, the prepositional phrase where, where is it? Any 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 uh, phrase that starts with one of those uh, common common preposition, uh, so this means this is a prepositional phrase. Let's practice. Ready? Not ready. Okay. What does the the bolded phrase describe? 
زينب 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 not here ياسين اوكي ياسين let me do something let me do something um, yes okay hmm. Yasin, are you there? Yasin, not there. Right. Wamit? Anyone still there in the room or have you left it? Wamit, are you there? Hannah, are you there? Yeah. Finally, I found someone. Where did the others go? So weird. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hannah, what does the bolded phrase describe? Read it, please. Okay. I laughed with joy while watching the, the Marx brothers. Yes, the Mark, Marx brothers. Now, you can you see the bolded uh -huh. phrase? Uh, it's uh, with joy. Yes, it's with, with joy. Okay, great. What does it describe? You have four choices. You can choose one of them. Uh, laughed. Uh, yeah, that's right. It describes laughed. This means what kind of phrase is that? Adverb. Yes, it's a prepositional phrase and describing another verb which is laugh. So here it's an, uh, it's an adverbial phrase. How did he laugh? How did he laugh? It answered the question how. That's why it's an adverb phrase. Great. Um, Ranin? Ranin? Yes. Okay, Ranin. Say the next question. Identify the preposition of phrase. Yes, read it. The third little pig built a house of bricks. Yeah, the third little pig built a house of bricks. Hmm. Oops, you have three choices or four choices. Where is the prepositional phrase? Of bricks? Yeah, that's right. Of bricks. Uh, what does it describe? The house? Yes, that's right. So, what type of uh, phrase is that? Of preposition is that? Adverb, uh, the adjective. Adjective, that's right. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Uh, Mahmoud Aysam, are you there? Yes. Yes, answer the coming question. Take the third question. Where is the third question, do you think? Yes. What did the bullet phrase describe? Read. I eat a whole pint of ice cream. Okay. Here are the choices. What does it describe? Describe eight. Yeah, that's right. It describes... Do you know what the meaning of, of pint, by the way? It's pronounced pint. Do you know what the meaning of the word pint? Do you know the, uh, the liter? It's the half of the liter. We call it, bi we call it pint half of the liter we call it you know the liter first yeah yes it's a, it's a, like a it's a measurement for measuring the liquids so um, pint is half of, half of the liter okay uh, fine so uh, of ice cream describing pint so what kind of phrase is that it's in ag uh, adjective adjective excellent or because describe a noun it describes an which is point. Okay. Um, Omar Negi, are you here? Omar? Mm, okay. Uh, but guys, if you can see the chat, if someone is telling that he has a problem with, the, with his mic or something, just inform me to write this as a note, while the others will be for me absent, who will not answer me. Um, Muhammad Itribi? Um, 
Okay, let's Rani. Rani, have you answered? Nadine, sorry, Nadine. Nadine, yes. yes, the question. Before traveling, you should make a checklist of everything you need. Okay, where is the prepositional phrase? Of everything you need. Which is what? I'll give you the choice. Oops. Okay, you see it. <laughs> Before traveling? Of course, yes. How did you choose this one, everything you need? How did you choose it? Everything here is a noun. You need. Yeah, because you started with off? No, I didn't put in the choices off. Okay, I give you the choices. So, which one of them? If, if I Before put for traveling. you, yes, of everything you need, yes, that's right. That could be a position phrase. Uh, but here I'm giving you choices, so it's before traveling. Uh, um, what type of before traveling? What does it describe first? Um, it describes the checklist. No. Describe make, the verb. You should make a checklist of everything you need when? Before traveling. When should you make a checklist? Hmm. Let's reorganize the sentence again. You should make a checklist of everything you need before traveling. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Now, the question, what question does it answer? When, when should you make? And when? Yes. When I am as answering the question, when the, the phrase answers the question of when, that means that it's an adverb phrase, right? right? If we speak about what Nadine said, of everything you need, of everything, a checklist of everything you need. If we consider this a, a, a prepositional phrase, what does it describe or modify in this sentence? You can answer, anyone can answer. Make. Yes, make a checklist of, of everything you need. Or everything, stop uh, here. Yes, so it's supposed to... Uh... Checklist? Yeah, that's right. Yes. It describes the checklist. What kind of a checklist of everything? What, what kind of checklist? If a checklist, it's of everything. Got it? Hmm? Yes. Still confused? Right, I think, oh yes, we still have six minutes. Let's go to the coming one. Um, Can I answer? Oh, Hannah? Okay, yeah. where the preposition phrase in this sentence? With sweet frosting. Yes, with sweet frosting. But look at the choices first and then answer. Yeah, it's with sweet frosting. Not the last one? Or was sweet? No, I need one of them. Just put in your mind uh, with what does the preposition phrase start and with what does it end? It ends with a noun. So with sweet is a noun? Sweet is a noun? Yes. No, it's an adjective. Sweet is an adjective. When I tell you how sweet are you, this means this an, I'm giving you a name or I'm describing you? Describing. Yes, this food is so sweet. I'm describing it. So sweet is an adjective. So I cannot, I can say what sweet is a phrase. Which one is the phrase? Frosting. Because Frosting here is a gerund and noun, noun two in the same time with sweet frosting. So this is the correct answer with sweet frosting. Uh, okay, what does it describe, uh, Hannah? The cake. Yes, excellent. Describe the cake. This means that it's. Hello? It's an adjective. Adjective, that's right. Excellent. It's an adjective. Thank you very much. Okay. Do you have any question before I go? We are going to meet again. I think um, 10.50, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yalla, enjoy your day.
Bye.